Hello everyone, myself Dr. Jagadish Ganla. I work as an accelerator program manager in an organization called EIT Health and European Union organization. Hello everyone, I am Arpit and I am working as a doctoral student in LMU Munich. We both are based in Munich, Germany. Why we are making this video is to explain to you where we stand about this coronavirus pandemic. We also want to talk about coronavirus statistics where we stand as of now. We also also would like to give an update about the, the preventive measures like vaccines or the drug development for coronavirus, coronavirus. Now talking about the coronavirus which originated in Wuhan, China in early December. As of 27th of January we had one cases outside China in Europe and that was in Munich. Uh, as of a matter of only two months of time we literally have more than 20,000 cases in Germany. And if we talk about the growth curves of uh, the coronavirus cases in countries like Germany, Italy, Spain and talking about France, it has been pretty much exponential curves which means we are seeing alarming numbers of cases and alarming number of deaths every day. And just to be talking about the deaths of Italy, today it hit 793 deaths which is a very significant number. It's a very scary time. I mean, uh, it's like we see thousands of cases every day and hundreds of deaths. It's really, really scary. Uh, but however, we, we need to be thankful to some governments which are investing in terms of research or in terms of uh, even, even in, in, in pri uh, the private companies and research institutes who are coming forward to develop vaccines or the drugs to, to attack this pandemic. Now, there have been several ways in which one can fight a virus. One could be a preventive measure and the other could be a curative measure and uh, for the preventive measures one can design vaccines and there have been certain vaccines such as mRNA1273 which is currently in the clinical trial it is currently in the phase 1 clinical trials and similar to this vaccine there have been several other vaccines which are being tested and it might take certain number of months before the uh, vaccines actually come to the market now talking about the curative measures there have been several drugs which are being repurposed and uh, when I say repurpose, I mean that uh, these drugs were previously used in certain disorders. For example, chloroquines and its derivatives were initially used in autoimmune disorders and in malaria. Now these are being thought that they could be effective against NCOV-19. And thankfully to certain studies, uh, it shows that um, uh, this chloroquines and its derivative are actually effective in several in vitro studies. Now several to chloroquines, there are certain other drugs such as Remdesivir which is being now in the phase 2 or phase 3 of the clinical trials and now it's being uh, recruited uh, to several of the volunteers by NIH. Um, there have been several other drugs which are thought to be effective in certain combination but uh, as of now we do not have any particular drug which is ready in the market so it takes at least two to three months to, for a drug to be in the market so it's, it's really uh, a matter of time the, the time could be three months six months or years even you know the drugs can fla fail in clinical trials it's it's a it's, it takes it's a lengthy time to develop any drug or vaccine so what we would like to share in this video is the lessons that we that we see or the, the the patterns we saw in Europe and we want to basically transfer this message to our country in India uh, so a month back we saw only couple of numbers in hundreds in Europe and now it's thousands and in India now we see hundreds so we want our Indian friends to think like what Europe should have done before like a lockdown or, or simple preventive measures like washing hands it could be just with the with the simple soap and water or alcohol based disinfectants wash it carefully and the best way is social isolation and social distancing so what I mean is that if there is a possibility just lock yourself at home and stay there at least for 14 days and with that what you are trying to do is that you don't go out to get infected or if you are infected you don't transfer this disease to others. So if we do that as combinedly with a combined effort, we will definitely beat this pandemic. And we also give enough time for researchers to develop the drugs or the vaccine. So please take it serious. Let us give more time to develop vaccines and, and, and uh, let's rest at home rather than rest in peace. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. 
and let's act uh, responsibly. Thank you.